Hello, hello, and happy Monday. Today I have got another huge Timu haul for you. Timu, Timu, however you want to say it. I've heard it all different ways. Um, I'm going to jump right in because this is take five of this video. For some reason, my phone keeps stopping. I'm hoping we can get through it. Um, I think I'm getting low on my memory, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But... Hopefully, we will be able to get this video done at least and then uh, see what I can do about this memory situation. So let's get this party started. First thing from Timu, I got this giant bag, and I apologize, it's hard to show it here in the, here in the car, but it's a fabric bag, and it has like the see-through see -through side. Can you see that clear plastic? And I got this just to store some um, sheets, pillowcases, that kind of stuff in it. I had live in a small space, and anytime I can store things away neatly is a plus for me. Okay. Let's get on to this next item. The next item, they called this a password book, um, which is what I got it for. I have so many passwords for so many different accounts and everything. And I can't remember all that stuff. They want you to have a different one for everything. And my brain just does not even hold all that information. So this is pretty neat, though. It has a little thing where you can actually lock it. If you guys can see that. It is a wonderful material. It's so nice. I'd say it's like a faux leather. And on the inside, it's got these little slots. So if you wanted to use it for something other than what I'm using it for, or even like keep cards that you don't necessarily maybe carry with you, it's got a clear pocket here. My husband and I are on a journey to pay all of our debt off. So I don't carry always the credit cards and all that kind of stuff with us if we're not going to, you know, be needing them. Just why, why tempt it if you don't really need to use it for anything. I do have them, but I figure I may as well just keep them tucked away until I do need to use them. So this could also be used for just like a diary, a journal. It does have that little lock, like I said, on the front if you wanted to lock it up. But I'm going to be using it for all the multiple accounts I have of passwords. That's what they listed it as, and that's what I'm going to do with it. But like I said, it does lock, and it's got a little spot here for the different numbers if you want to make it, if you want to lock it. Okay. Next thing on the list, this next item, I do like it. I don't want to say I don't because it's really pretty, but it is not exactly what I expected. I like to color, and it, it's, it says it's the Enchanted Forest. Um, it did get a little bent up in shipping, which I'm okay with that. That's not a big deal. Um, a lot of Timu stuff does come. Sometimes crinkled up a bit. Um, I've only had two items actually damaged. And I called their customer service number. They asked me to send a photo. I sent it. And they credited me instantly. So I will say their um, customer service is top notch. I've had absolutely no problems with it. Um, but this is, well, this is what I thought to be an adult coloring book. And I'll tell you, the illustrations are beautiful on the inside. Like, I really... I really like them. Look at the frog. I love frogs. I collect frog stuff. Um, oh, I love the dragonfly. That's beautiful. So the illustrations are beautiful. I will still color in this. Look at the pretty Christmas tree. Uh, not necessarily a Christmas tree, but it kind of looks like one. The mushroom. So there are some beautiful illustrations in it, but it's the size of a, like, the, the children's books. The little golden books, that's the size of it. And I'm just used to coloring in a big coloring book. So I expected it to be bigger, but it was like $1.25. So at that price, you know, I will still color in it. I just wished it was bigger. So the next item, this is a gift for a friend. She likes cats. She does cat rescue. And um, I seen this and I just thought it was so cute. So I had to get it for her. It's a makeup bag or whatever kind of bag you want to use it for. It's a very nice, it's almost like that neoprene material, thick material. It's got the cats on it. And um, really nice zipper. And it even has like a little, a little like 
loop here if you wanted to clip something on that you could but I think she's really gonna like this okay next this next item it's very it's tiny so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show it to you but it's these beautiful earrings I want to say they called them like watermelon quartz or something you know, they're just costume earrings, but it did say they were a natural stone, but they are beautiful. And um, I love, I don't really think anything is too much. I love everything big and gaudy and the bigger, the better. But I do sometimes like to wear just the little post. And these, they call them watermelon because they've got the green and the sort of pinkish red in there both. I don't know if you can see that. How well this is going to show on this camera. Like I said, I've been having some issues with my phone. But this, I can tell you, will not do these justice. They are beautiful. So if you like pretty posts, I would definitely suggest getting these. Um, I want to say they were like $1.50 something. Um, I have been questioned about why I don't include the prices in my videos. Um, the reason I don't is I'm finding with Timu that um, the prices are always changing. They're kind of like Amazon in the sense that um, they're an online marketplace and there are multiple sellers. So based on what they price their stuff at, and then on top of that, they do what's called lightning deals. So they add different items to that all the time and the amounts off. And then they also offer discount coupons. So what I could get it for, you may not be able to get it for that. So that's why I haven't been including the prices. If you guys want the prices, let me know. I will gladly send them to you. Just comment in the in the comments below. And I do apologize if anybody's commented this week or questioned anything. I was sick for three days this past week. I'm on the mend now, thank the Lord. Um, but uh, I between having I kept trying to do the upload the video and I was having memory issues with the phone and then I was I had some kind of stomach bug. But here's our next item. Um, this. It says, life is hard and joy soft. That's funny. Simple and not simple. This is made to put like your vegetable, your fresh vegetables in. So I got this to hang. It has like a little hard doll rod here and a little handle. I'm going to hang these in my pantry and I'm going to put like potatoes, onions, that kind of stuff. And I got two of these. And this stuff is just so affordable. I keep placing orders. I have placed five orders now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm crazy. I think I, I might have an, a Timu addiction. Um, <laughs> but I have placed it because it's all useful items at an affordable price that I'm actually going to use. It's not going to sit around. Or And these next items, I got 50 of these pieces. This is it's a big bag. I shouldn't say a big bag, but it's a bag of 50 because it's small items. They're all different colors of these little bags. Um, I do have a resell business on the side besides working at the hospital and um i like to when i ship jewelry i sell a lot of jewelry in my resale business when i ship it i like to put it in a nice little bag so that's why i got these for my business and there was 50 of those in the bag next item this came in this box you can see that again kind of mush but it's not broken or anything and then it came in a nice little gift little bag silky and they're calling it a universal clip type 60 times LED microscope basically what I got it for this clips onto your cell phone if you can see that and basically when I buy jewelry a lot of times I buy sterling silver um, sometimes I buy pieces of uh, china and stuff that actually are marked and with a name of who made it or pottery stuff like that and sometimes it's very hard on glass and on pieces of jewelry to see that stuff this will act actually magnify it 60 times so um it clips on your cell phone magnifies everything so that's why i got this for my resale business i thought that would come in handy when i'm out outsourcing items to sell okay Next on my list, I got these stickers. 
I uh, was born in 71, but I definitely am an 80s girl. Grew up in the 80s, and I love all things 80s. Everything. Big hair, big jewelry, lots of makeup. The more, the better. Like I said, I don't think anything is too much. But I found these stickers, and they just reminded me of my teenage years. They're all neon. They remind me of the 80s. And a hundred of them came in a pack. I thought initially it was 50, but I think the pack says 100. And um, they're just all neon, all different kinds of stickers. That's kind of funny. And I'm a big scrapbooker, and I also um, do a daily planner, junk journal. So these will definitely come in handy. I'm always looking for fun stickers. And this just so reminded me of the 80s. I just had to have it. So I'm not going to show them all to you because we'd be here a while. But I just wanted to show you a few of how pretty they really are. Just so fun. Oh, this way. Wine glass. So... So there's those, and like I said, there's quite a few in the package there. Next on our list, oh yeah, now you know we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We are now getting into the, well, I'm finding fuzz on it, and what that came from, getting into the uh, nitty -gritty, gritty of it all here on YouTube. Panties. Sorry, there's a pack of them. I got these because, yes, they have the days of the week. <laughs> this so reminded me of my childhood. I used to have panties like this when I was little. <laughs> and when I seen them for adults, I just thought they were so fun. So I did pick them up. Um, they're looking a little big. I don't know if they're going to fit or not. But if they don't, I will go ahead and order the next size down because they're so nice. The fabric is nice and thick. They're not cheap at all. They're really nice material. They each, like I said, have a different saying on the butt, on the butt, day of the week. And then on the front, they have a little bow, and they're kind of a bikini size. And like I said, I don't know if these, these seem a little big, so I don't know if they're going to fit. But each one has a different, different day listed, like I said. And I thought they were so fun when I saw them. And then when they came in, I was like, yep, I got to have those, but they might, these might be a little big, so... If they are, that's okay. I'll order the next size down. Okay, on to the next item. Oh, this has become my new addiction. I have lots of addictions. Like, a, I'm Timu crazy. I've made this video now, I think, attempted to make it five times. <laughs> but um, I hope it's finally working. But um, I am addicted to the press-on nails. I went for years to the salon and had my nails done. I moved to a rural area, and suddenly I no longer had a good salon I could go to. So I tried all these different options, doing them myself at home, doing the powder, the, you know, gel nail, all the stuff. And I just, it was either a mess or it would just chip off very quickly after I spent, like, hours doing it. And I am not patient, nor do I have the time to deal with that. <laughs> so <laughs> instead... Um, I saw a girl on YouTube, a girl, a woman on YouTube, who I love to watch her videos. Um, her name is Liz Fenwick, and she does a lot, just a lot of different kind of videos, but one of the videos she does is products that she's found that she likes um, on Amazon, stuff like that. She turned me on to a glue, and if you have never seen her, just type in her name, Liz Fenwick, you will see her. She also has um, a thing that she does on Amazon where she shows products that she likes. But um, there's a glue, and I'll, I'll list it in the comments so you guys know what it is. I don't remember the name right off, but um, it is a brush-on glue instead of, like, the squeeze messiness. This is a neat, you brush it on just like you do a nail polish, and you stick these babies on. These are stick-on nails. They do come with, like, little gel, uh, I don't want to say stickers, but, like, a glue adhesive that you can just put on your nails and press on it. I find, for me, I'm very rough. I need to glue them down. <laughs> They would never stay on if I use those others, but I'm finding so many awesome patterns on Timu. Um, 
I'm paying approximately a dollar seven a piece, dollar twenty five, stuff like that. Like I said, they're all different. That's why I don't include the prices. But the ones I have on today, these I've had on since I think like January 29th or 30th. And they're just a simple, like a mauve color with black tips. And check the hearts that way. And they have little white hearts on them I thought would be fun for Valentine's Day. But I actually got red heart ones that I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. I just thought this would be fun for the month of February until, until it's time for me to change them to that. Um, the first set I did was not these. I had like a dark brown pair. And they lasted like over three weeks to the point where I finally just had to take them off. Because I was like, uh, I want to change them out. And at this price, even if I did a different pair a week for the most part, there's 52 weeks in a year. I spend more than that going to one nail salon visit. So <laughs> this is definitely cost effective. So I'm taking these out of the box just because I don't know if you can see the actual pattern that good in the box. But these are beautiful. They're like a navy blue. And then the other, they're uh, some of them are pink and some of them have navy blue and pink with gold specks in them. So you guys can see those up close. I don't know if the video is letting you see the color. But they are just beautiful. And for this price and the easiness of it, I am all about it. I'm there for it. So I am super excited to have these. I've been buying so many nails. There may be multiple ones in this box. I'm not or in this bag because I placed so many orders. I can't remember what's in what bag. <laughs> but I will show them to you as I go. This next one, it is, I like a lot of dark colors generally, but this is black. Some of them are solid, some of them are printed. There's a black, a tan, and then there's a tan with a black animal print. More nails. Every time I find a cute pattern that I like, I just go ahead and buy it because I'm like, I'm, I plan on doing this from now on. If it stays this easy, I'm definitely going to do it from now on because you just can't beat it. And I've had a lot of compliments on them, which is kind of funny to me because I'm, I'm like, oh, I just glued them on myself. <laughs> so... Next item I got for my office. Pink is my favorite color. It came in this box, which again got kind of squished, but there's nothing wrong with the item. It's just a little, a little pink calculator for my desk. And speaking of my office, I have a big announcement. Um, I currently have been working at a hospital. I love my job. Really didn't have any thought process about leaving it. Aside from the fact that eventually my husband and I want to move out of this area and I'm going to need to have, I'm going to be able to hit or need to have a job when we move. And so um, I had started looking into remote work options just to see what was out there. And I came across a phenomenal opportunity. So I did apply um, thinking that, you know, I don't really have experience at remote work. So I, I wasn't sure like what they would say or I'd even get a call back but I did go ahead and apply and um, ended up getting an interview well, a couple interviews it was a long process but they did hire me so I'm super excited to be starting a remote work from home position on March the 6th so um, that is super exciting so I'm starting to slowly kind of really organize my office we're doing some painting putting some new flooring in so I cannot wait to have all that, those projects done, but I picked up a few things here and there to go in my office just for fun. So this next item is one of the office items. This is a desktop vacuum cleaner. Comes in this little box. I opted for pink. They had different colors um, that they offered. And I've not taken any of this stuff out yet, so I don't really know what it looks like. But let me take a look here and see if I can get it. So it's supposed to be able to, like, if you get, like, you know, the dust, the stuff between your keyboard, all that kind of stuff, it's supposed to kind of help keep that clean. Oh, it has, like, little fuzzy brushes on the bottom of it. This comes with it to, like, get through the keyboards, and there's a hole in the bottom that it goes in. Let's see if you can see that. So it's just a little, but you can actually do this number across your desk this way. That's how I've seen it on the video on Timu. But then it looks like this is for little small crevices like the keyboard, stuff like that. And it just is battery operated. Oh, it comes with another little brush, looks like. 
to kind of get into the small spaces. But I thought, well, that would be nice to have just to keep things neat and tidy on my desk since I'll be working there all the time. I have the office for my side business, but I've never... It, it has never been officially redone. We're slowly redoing room by room here um, at the moment while we're still living here. Okay, next on my list. Oh, you guessed it. More nails. These are beautiful. They are black French tips, but then they also have pearls on them. And I love anything with pearls. I love pearl everything. So I'll show you those. I'm really going to like wearing those. And all the little white you see. Those are all the little pearls that are on there. Now, I've never gotten anything without with like the jewels on them before. I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Like I said, I'm very rough. <laughs> so I don't know how well that's going to hold up over time. But at this price, who cares? If it starts looking bad, I'll just change it to one of the other pairs. Okay, next on my list is this is a uh, lip gloss, I believe. comes in this box. And I believe, I could be wrong, because like I said, I've ordered so much stuff, and i just got to kind of get through the box here with you. But I believe I ordered two of these in two different colors. One for me, and then one for a gift for my friend who loves makeup. So, i got to see if that other one's in this order, if it's another order. Actually, I think this one's hers. This is her color. So, I got this for my friend. Like I said, there's the box. And this is what it looks like. And I feel like this is kind of a dupe to another brand. A lot of that Timo does a lot of that. So let me know. Let me know if you guys know what that is. I, I can't remember right off, but I feel like I've seen this in another actual name brand. This style of container. Okay. So that's a gift from my friend. She's a makeup girl. She likes makeup too. Okay, next, another pair of nails. These are just a um, French tip white. So that'll be a nice everyday, everyday look. I'm sorry if you hear things. There's so much stuff. I'm trying to dig out of this gigantic orange bag <laughs> that I got stuff dropping everywhere. Okay, next on my list here, or next in my bag, I should say. These are more stickers, and these are, they're called potion stickers. I got them, um, I love Halloween. We, we used to do a Halloween party every year before we moved out here, and we're hoping once we get everything done to start doing that again, but I'm all about the decorating of every holiday. Like, I love the holidays, and um, you guys will see that in all my hauls. I've been doing a lot of Valentine's Day uh, hauling here lately, but these I saw on Timu, and I had to have them. They are different um, potion stickers they're calling them and in some of my sourcing this summer I found a bunch of old like really old bottles and I thought oh I'm gonna make some labels for those and make them into like witches bottles like in the apothecary kind of thing and I thought that would be so fun and then I saw these stickers and I'm like oh I know what project I'll be doing come Halloween time I will be using these on those old bottles I bought. So there's just all different kinds. This one says dragon tonic. <laughs> this one says finely minced toad flax, highest quality. And there's 50 stickers in this package. And I just thought how fun. And whatever I don't use for those bottles, I can always use in my planner or in my junk journal. I do my junk journaling a little different. And mine's more like a scrapbook. Um, but I do use everyday things as well in it. Because I like to put photographs and stuff in mine. So I am so excited about these. Okay, one more. And then I'll put those to the side so that we can go on to the next item because I don't want the video to get too long where you're on here forever. I know everybody's busy. 
I meant to make myself an iced coffee before I came out to do this, and I completely forgot. And now I'm getting parched. Next item is, um, I said, actually I said it in the last attempt at a video, so you probably haven't seen that item yet, so, um, this is just a little necklace, and it's my zodiac sign, Cancer, because I'm born in July. It's gold colored. I thought that was pretty. I like to wear just all kinds of different necklaces and earrings, and today I'm sporting it. Sort of kind of looks like my 4th of July earrings. I have a bunch of different red, white, and blue earrings, but I am wearing my, oh, I don't know if you can see it in this video, my Dolly t-shirt. It says Dolly for president, because I love me some Dolly Parton. She is like the most fabulous woman there is. Okay, next. This ring I got. My daughter, Jessica. We have one daughter. And um, she's grown, lives on her own. But this is her birthstone. The citrine, I think they call it. And this is just, you know, costume jewelry. But I thought that was so pretty to wear. Let's see if it... I have found with Timu... I think I'm kind of an in-between size, so if I get if I get like the eight, it's kind of it just depends. Like sometimes it's big, but if I get like the seven, sometimes it's too small because there's not half sizes because it's just you know costume jewelry. So, but this one seems to fit, so that's really pretty, and it looks antiqueish, which I love anything old, old looking. Okay, while I'm in the ring category, I'll, before I put my ring back on, I'll try this one on too. This is a pearl ring that I got because I love all things pearl. And I just think it's so pretty. I hope it fits. Oh, it does fit. How cool is that? It's so fashionable. It's like open. It's got like an open side and it's got that giant pearl. I think that is so pretty. And that'll be fun just to wear. Oh, I'm so thankful that that fits. They don't always. Okay, I'll put my ring back on before I go any farther. Okay. Next, I got this fun spoon. We have a coffee bar area. My husband is a big coffee and hot chocolate drinker both. And we do the, uh, the pod. But... I've been adding to it. I, I think in my first video I showed you the sign I added. But this one says, good morning, handsome. And this is a big spoon. It's more like, almost like I would say a table size spoon. You know, so. But it is, it says it's stainless steel on the back. If you guys can see that in the video. And then that's what it says. I don't know with all the, all the video if you're really going to be able to see what it says there. Shiny stuff like that doesn't really come across too good. I don't want to blind y'all. Okay. Next item. We're getting almost to that 30 minute mark. So if you're still here, drop me a smiley or, or a meme of how you're feeling today in the comments. I hope you're all having a great day. It actually is warming up here. We have had a few cold days. And um, like really cold days our actual water froze our pipes and it was terrible i had to had to take a very cold cold bath <laughs> here's just some jewelry bags um these are some of the items i would use for some of the jewelry that i saw in my resale business earrings stuff like that okay oh there's the other lip gloss so let's see what this color is. It showed that they kind of change colors once you put them on. To me, this looks very, very much like the same color, but it, they're two different numbers. So I guess they are different. I guess once you put them on, you can see the difference. But how has the weather been where you all live? Drop me a comment. Let me know. My husband and I have been talking about all the different places that we would like to live, you know, if we do move. And 
neither one of us can really decide on a set thing. So, let me know where y'all live, how you like it, what the weather's like, how you're doing this week. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to read the comments. Just started on YouTube, and I'd like to see what all everybody's up to. Okay, this next item, it's all bagged up. They listed these as like a hand towel or something. I feel like it said in the description. But basically, it's made of Chanel. It's so extremely soft. Like, I, I got two of these. One for each, each one of my bathrooms. And it has a little hook. And you just hang this in the bathroom for people to dry their hands on. And it's supposed to be fast drying. So, I hope it is. Um, I've never used anything like this. I usually just use a hand towel. But I thought, oh, that's kind of a neat concept. So... We're going to try it and give it a go. Okay, next on our list. Oh, more earrings. Or earrings. I think my brain's not working today. More nails. And these are so fun. They are green. We do have St. Patty's Day going to be here before we know it. And then the other, the other part is kind of a pale pink with little white flowers and green leaves. I don't know if you can see that in close up there. I'm just loving these nails. I can't help it. They are so awesome. <laughs> I actually feel like they're pretty again. Okay, next item comes in this box. Just went ahead and took it out so I could show you. And it's just a liquid eyeliner. And I got it in a bright green. I think this will be fun for St. Patrick's Day or whenever. I love green. So I think that'll be pretty. Let's see what the... Let's see what the... Uh, oh, yeah, it's got a nice fine applicator. See that? Try to put it on my hand and see if. Oh, yeah, it's sparkly. If you all hear my cat, <laughs> he has jumped on the windshield and is attempting to get in. He's meowing. His name is Meow. He's attempting to get into the car with me. But this is how that looks. If you guys can see that, it's very sparkly. So that's really pretty. I think that's going to be really pretty for St. Patrick's Day especially. Then I got this beautiful green eyeliner. And it looks to be very soft. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. I'll be ordering more of those colors. Can you see that? It's like a dark green. Really nice fine point. And it's it's a, not like a pencil. I remember like back in the 80s when we used the pencils and we had to, you know, I know they still sell those, but I don't buy those anymore because I can't tell you how many times I didn't sharpen it well enough and I'm like scratching myself. And so I like the real soft tip. Now this next thing, it was so funny. They called it some kind of dog, <laughs> but when I seen it, I was like, well, that's gizmo and it's an ornament. And in the photograph on Timu, it looks like an actual like big type Christmas ornament but in reality it's just a little flat uh comes in this little packaging I don't know if y'all seen them on there or not but it's a flat um I'd say kind of cardboardy which I don't care that's totally fine it's just not what I thought it would be take them out comes with the little the little hang tag thing to put through them no no meow meow you can't come in the car he's scratching at my window he really wants in Oh, it's not cardboard. I'm sorry. It's like acrylic, but it's thin. See, it's a thin. But I think it's so cute. I love this movie. I love Gizmo. I think he's adorable. And so I was really excited when I seen it on there, but they called him some kind of dog on the description. And I, I kind of thought that was funny. I'm like, I don't know if they had to do that because of licensing or <laughs> what, but it looks like Gizmo to me. The Gremlins. Gremlins movie. So I got that. Like I said, I'm buying for the holidays all the time. It don't matter what time of year it is. Okay, next on our list. This is a tool. And I got this because I love jewelry, but sometimes I have a hard time getting like bracelets and stuff on, like the kind that are, especially since I put these nails on, that you have to, you know, they actually have the hooks on them. So this actually helps you unhook it 
to get your jewelry on easier. And they had all different colors, silver, black, I think. I got the rose gold because I love rose gold, but that's the option I got. And I actually, I'm hoping this will be really useful to me because, like I said, some mornings I get up, I'm like, oh, I need help getting this on. And Jack is still sleeping, so I want to wake him up to say, hey, honey, put this bracelet on me or <laughs> necklace or whatever the case may be. Okay, I got that put back away. Next item, this is just a little, I bought some of the um, heavier duty bamboo style ones. I think I showed them, I don't even know. I, I can't remember, I have so many orders, I can't remember like what all, I, and, and they're all big, what all I've shown and what all I haven't. But um, this particular one is a netted one. And I picked one of these up at Dollar Tree, but it didn't last very long. So I, I tried the different ones they had on Timu so I can see how well they are. But basically, it's a netted bag. It has a little drawstring here. You just put a bar of soap in here, but the material that it is, it's sort of like one of those bath scrunchies we use in the shower, um, the netted ones. When you put your bar of soap in here, it actually lathers so amazingly. And I thought I would try this netted one because I did try the one that Dollar Tree carries. Um, this looks like it's probably going to be the same type of deal where it will work for a while, but then it will, it will, you know, kind of fall apart. I did buy the heavier duty one and I've not used those yet, but I'll let you guys know how they work. Also from Timu. Okay. Like I said, this video is so long and I'm probably just going to show you two more items maybe and then I will two or three and then I'm going to end it and I will add the other things to the next Timu haul because I just have so many products from them. <laughs> this is a um, oh I got string coming out of it. Oh, oops I'm dropping stuff. No no meow meow. He literally is scratching at the window he wants in. Um, this is a sewing kit. It's just a little small sewing kit. It comes with a thread um, got needles in it, uh, all of your little accessories that I'm going to actually close it and show you those so it doesn't fall out in the car, but it's got all the little things you would need there. It has, you know, the threader, tape measure, uh, safety pins, just a cute little sewing thimble, just a cute little sewing kit for the home. And it's in this nice little handled container. It does lock. I had it locked and then it came on that. No, no. So there we go. So it comes in this little container. And um, I'm not, I don't sew per se, like with a machine or anything like that. I wished I knew how. But um, I do do some project just hand sewing different things when, you know, you need a button or things like that. I can do a hem, small hem on a curtain or something like that. So I thought that would be handy to have at home. Okay, next item. This is an office item. I have a label maker, and I priced these on Amazon and at Walmart, and they're really expensive. Like, Walmart for two of them was like $15 or something crazy. And it's just these, it's the actual labels you put into the label maker. But I was able to get five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five of these for $11 on Timu. So... That's where I'll be buying all that stuff because it's so much more affordable than Walmart or Amazon, which I was shocked by. Usually I can find good deals on Amazon. Okay, this next thing. I have been waiting so long for these, and I'm so glad I'm doing the video today, and it's working now so that I can actually wear them. These are smiley face slippers. They came in a couple colors. This is the color I chose. But I think they are just so cute. They're kind of squished from being in the bag. But they'll straighten out once I wear them a while. But I thought these were so fun. And I love stick slippers that have the hard sole. Because I go outside all the time with my dogs or whatever. And I just want to slip my slippers on and go. Okay. And I'm going to show one more item in this haul. And then we're going to call it a day. Because we are almost near the 40 minute mark. And... I know you all are probably got things to do. You're busy. Wait a minute. Do I have some more item? No, actually, I think that's it. I think we already showed that item. So, I think, I think, I think, I think we're all done. 
So I thank you very much if you stayed around this long for this haul. Um, Timu is such a great company. I hope you love all their products as much as I do. Um, I've had a few things that I didn't love. Like I said, my coloring book's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Um, a couple things that weren't quite what I thought they would be. But overall, I would say 99% of what I have purchased, I have loved. And um, if you haven't tried them yet, give them a shot. I think you'll be happy. They offer all different ways to pay, um, all different payment options, even Afterpay that they offer. I've been Afterpay and Klarna, so options that you can use um, if you want to pay them in payments. Just do giant hauls instead of, you know, just one little thing here and there. I'm excited because the next order I have coming in has shoes and purses and things like that. So I hope you will come back and visit and check that haul out. Uh, the next haul I will be doing will be a Dollar Tree haul. I think I mentioned that in my last video, but then all this Timu came in, and you guys seem to like the Timu products, so I wanted to show you some of the stuff I picked up this week. And um, I will get the Dollar Tree haul out. I hope, I hope I'll get it videoed today as well, so then I can get them both up within the next couple days. For some reason, my phone, um, it is the memory is having issues and it takes like an entire day just to upload it to YouTube. <laughs> so it's taken a little longer than I actually thought it would, but we're getting there. I'm new to this. I'm trying. <laughs> we'll figure out all the different things about it as we go, I hope. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, you all have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous week. It's Monday and be blessed. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.